Okay, boys and girls, at last, Reddit Empire V2 has been released. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me, emailing, Discord, standing outside my house, waiting for the release of V2. It is here. Okay, I'm in this video, I'm just going to talk to you about what has changed, what's um, included. Okay, this is not a technical uh, demonstration on how to use the bot. This is, as I say, just an overview. You can check out all the details um, on the link in the description and get your greasy little bot hands on a copy. Okay, so first of all, V2, Reddit Empire is a lot faster. Um, I know a lot of you guys wanted to run the bot locally on your own computer and not necessarily want to get a VPS or a dedicated server. So the bot's a lot, lot faster, meaning that each thread or each browser window that you work with takes up a lot less CPU and RAM. So it's all good for you people that wanted to use it locally. The bot now works with profiles, um, which with version one, the bot would take the username and password and log into Reddit um, using them credentials and wasn't using cookies, wasn't using profiles. That's all changed. There's a whole, we've inbuilt a whole function for profiling, uh, which basically means that each account has its own profile. It saves it to your computer, has its own, saves the cookies, saves what pages have been visited. It's proxy if you're using proxies, all that good stuff. The fingerprint is all saved. So each uh, account that you have kind of has its own pro profile and the bot will uh, use that profile for everything that's done within uh, Reddit. So that obviously stops bans as well. It's a lot more efficient, a lot faster. So it's all good. It's all on the up and up. Fantastic human emulation model module. Uh, so we've been working on, on this in depth. The issue with a lot of bots is that they use the same path. So they visit the same pages they'll go to the same places take the same amount of time to do that that's all changed so each one of your accounts when you run the human emulation mod module uh, the bot's going to log go into each one of your accounts and it's going to uh, act human it's going to uh, visit uh, subreddits it possibly could join the communities it's going to look at different posts on there it could upvote or down uh, vote uh, different posts and so each account when they're looked at if you looked at each one of the accounts has visited different places on reddit okay it's upvoted different uh, services uh, joined different communities from each other account giving them a totally unique profile which again uh, stops with bans scheduler this is a really important uh, part that you ask for uh, the software now has a scheduler which enables you to schedule any of the modules to run at any time. So this totally makes the um, software hands off so that if you're away and you do have this on your computer or a dedicated server, you're able to say upvote at certain times. Uh, you can There's a calendar option so you can put it on the calendar. Uh, you can have it run every hour, every month, every minute <laughs> at certain times of the day. So this also helps with the human emulation aspect for your Reddit accounts because um, you are able to now um, set it at different times uh, so you can really look human for each one of your accounts uh, which is something that you guys asked for so we've included it. Okay, um, next I just want to talk about uh, the support. We have a dedicated support channel for uh, the reddit account on discord also um, if you open a support ticket for reddit for email it will go to a separate uh, folder so we're able to answer that uh, a lot quicker for you for any issues again if you have skype or discord uh, we have a separate channel so we'll be able to get with you straight away uh, i'm online myself about 15 hours a day and then um yeah, someone will get to you straight away if you have any issues, which is nice. Um, the usuals included with the uh, bot, meaning you're allowed to run unlimited account. It's multi-threaded. You have proxy support. It beats capture. And now with the new human emulation and profiling modules, uh, we're really heavy on anti-bans. So it's um, really good to um, build up your Reddit accounts uh, without getting banned, which is always nice. 
Uh, the modules that are included at the present time, um, you can create accounts. Uh, we've scrapped the unverified accounts because um, we just want, we're just looking for software that um, you can grow the accounts and use them uh, to upvote and possibly uh, use, you know, you can give the accounts away, whatever you're going to do. Um, yeah, so we're just working with um, fully verified accounts now. We have the human emulation module that we spoke of earlier so that every account looks different. They, each account use, each Reddit account uses um, its own profile now that shows cookies, what sites, um, places it's visited, proxy and fingerprints all saved um, in a nice little profile. Um, we have the poster module karma flash karma farmer module so you can uh, post items in different subreddits with your accounts which in turn will grow the karma of them which is really useful you're probably aware that for a lot of subreddits you need to have a certain amount of karma points or your sites need to be aged etc to be able to use them so we have that module we have the upvote module which is pro probably what most of you guys are after so once your accounts are a little bit aged and um, have some karma points you'll be able to upvote that's discussed in the uh, technical guide video um, you need to age the accounts um, a little bit lots of the subreddits are wise now uh, some of them you need uh, accounts that are seven days plus old some you know, require a certain amount of karma so you've got that all taken care of with the poster karma uh, farmer module and then we have an account uh, checker this will check whether your account has been banned or is active okay so that saves a lot of time you don't want to be using an account that's ghosted or actually banned so reddit has it in place that you can still log in and your accounts look active even if they're shadowed or they're banned so we, we have a module that will check that for you so you can get rid of the garbage now coming soon um, depending on when you've watched this video probably the downvote module has already been added uh, if not, it's it's on the way. And then the comment poster as well. We're going to add a um, module so you're able to comment both on other people's uh, posts and for your own. So if you post something and you're upvoting it, you could uh, have a lot of accounts uh, post um, positive comments onto your posts. Uh, what you need to be able to run this bot is the boat. Uh, the boat. You need a boat. Uh, you need the bot itself. No joke. You need proxies. Now, I talk about proxies in length in the technical discussion, but you need, uh, don't use public proxies, don't use, uh, don't use bad proxies. Basically, don't use um, server proxies. I'm trying to think of the word, um, but what you should be using is 4G proxies or good residential uh, proxies. There's no, if you're going to try and use free online proxies or anything like that just it's, it's just not going to work your accounts are going to get banned the other ones uh, that are likely to get banned are uh, ones that have been used by other people okay so if you're going to use a uh, data center that's the word i was looking for data center proxies then you're going to have to use virgin ones ones you've made yourself or yeah not ones that have been abused basically um guys Basically, all the major sites now, all the social media sites, Reddit, etc., know if your um, proxy is um, from a data center. It's, it's just easy to detect. Okay, so if you're going to do this, uh, you should do it properly. Use the correct tools to make sure that your accounts stay uh, alive longer. If you're trying to do like a suicide run and just uh, make accounts and quickly. Um, maybe have them for a few days just to upvote something or mass comment when the comment um, module is live then you know by all means go for um, data center proxies that have been used cheap ones but if you're looking to grow the accounts karma and you're looking to um, have hundreds of accounts that you can uh, keep um, then I really highly recommend 4G's, 4G proxies and good residential uh, proxies um, just connect with me on the discord or um, email okay i'll give you know i'll tell you the services that we use um, so you're um, so you so you're in good stead and you don't get your accounts banned you're going to need a, the fingerprint uh, switcher module that's going to set you back 
uh, $20 a month or $40 for six months. Okay, it's a must. Um, we built this bot so that your accounts can grow and not get banned. Okay, this is not a bot to kind of um, make a thousand accounts in uh, five minutes and kind of, you know, suicide run all the time it this this is uh, something to collect so you can grow um, hundreds of accounts that have good karma good stead on reddit and you're able to upvote your uh, good posts you know stuff of value you're able to come in and give them a boost so anti capture service you can use uh de capture to capture and all, all the, the main uh, anti capture services you can use but you're going to need an account with one of them um, it normally costs about two dollars per per thousand captures that are filled out. Highly recommend that you put this on a VPS or a server, but you don't need to. You can put it uh, on your local computer. That's fine. And with this version V2, the uh, bot takes up a lot less CPU and RAM per thread, so it's uh, more of an option to have it on your local computer. Of course, this depends on. Uh, how much RAM and how good your CPU is on your computer or the VPS or server. We offer full support. We now have a dedicated channel just for the bots, for the Reddit bot. On Discord, you can connect to us on Skype, <clears throat> excuse me, and also, of course, email. Okay, now with that being said, I'm just going to quickly show you the new um, scheduler module because everyone's been asking about that. So we go over here and start the good old Reddit bot. The first time that you run the bot, it takes about two minutes to run because it um, gets all the data, uh, the database downloaded and all that good stuff onto your computer or server. But then after that, it's all smooth sailing. So we're just going to start the application now. Um, we have the run now and then we have the scheduler application. I know you guys were keen to see the scheduler. Um, let me just quickly show you the, the bot as standard first. So we have our modules here. We have the create accounts. We have the settings, which are separate now. Uh, the human emulation system, the posting system, uh, the upvote system, and the account checker. Um, they're quite straightforward to use. We've got rid of lots of the fluff. Um, the human emulation system, for instance, you could just check the box to run it. Uh, input where your list of subreddits are. Um, I think I have it on this computer. Let's have a look subreddits uh, we provide you a list of subreddits it's just so you can keep um, everything random uh, how many actions to take per account so you can say between two and three so it's going to pick a number between here and here we've got the setting set up on here nope okay threads let's just do number of actions to take random don't need that really fit uh, here done Want these proxies just for this really quick demonstration. So um, I just want to show you how quickly it is to set up now. You just check which um, module you want to use, just make sure the settings are all set, and then go to the specific module you want to use. And for most of them, there's only a couple of options. So it's quite straightforward to use. You press run, hit OK, and you're good to go. I don't even know if I've got everything on this computer, but let's check. And you can just click on here, you can check the browser in action, doing all that good stuff. Okay, uh, let's just go back. Obviously, the same before you have your log here of what's going on, and you'll have a graph here showing you all the successes and failures, how many threads are running, how many successes and fails. As I said, you can just, I know you guys have probably seen this before from uh, number one of the bot, and that's, yeah, that's that. So if we just go restart, um, actually, to use that, we want to come off here. For the actual in-depth technical um, video, then obviously check out the uh, site. But I just wanted to really quickly um, just load this again so I can show you the new scheduler for the Reddit Empire bot. Okay, so let's this time check out the scheduler. So for the scheduler, what we do 
start the application and then we if you haven't got any tasks set up just press the add button here again this is like the technical demonstration i just want to show you then call the task something that's relevant so you might have clients so you could call it their name whatever the case test one the data so you click input data and what will happen it will show up as if you're setting up the bot normally uh, see so you've got the same options as I just showed you in the proper bot. So if you run a human emulation, you've just set it up, you know, as as before. Then you would hit run as if pretending that you're going to run the bot. Okay. Then you can hit next here, and then this is the beauty of it. You could run run it now. You can run at certain times. Okay, to the exact minute. You can uh, start every hour, every day, every week, every month in sequences as well. Oops. Uh, yeah, so all that good stuff. So you can really nail this down. So this is good, one, if you've got clients, two, for uh, more in-depth human emulation. We have a human emulation module anyway, but instead of just running it while you're awake or at your desk, um, this is also really convenient as well. You could set this up um, and then you're good to go. You can leave this running. Uh, indefinitely um, yeah so we added that for you guys um, yeah so click the link in the description get over there get your copy now uh, let me know what you want added um, this bot is obviously uh, made for you guys so if there's any modules that you want to see included um, th that's why we added the scheduler in the first place is because you guys asked for it okay you want a better human human emulation you got it you want uh, you were worried about how much RAM and CPU would be used per thread. We sorted that out. So obviously we want you guys to buy the bot, okay, and use it. Uh, so we've listened to what you've said and implemented all the changes. Just hit me up if you've got any questions. Uh, then you can message me. Go to the link uh, below. Check out the details about the Reddit bot. Um, you'll see a link so you can contact me. You can reach out to me on Discord or you can um, obviously drop a email uh, via the link on the sales page and I will get to you and answer your questions. I'm really looking forward uh, to helping you. As I said, there's uh, dedicated support now. So once you've signed up, we'll, uh, we'll help you every step of the way from selecting the correct proxies, getting set up on your own computer or your VPS and server and getting you creating accounts and um you know getting that mass traffic that's what it is about is growing your accounts and uh getting that mass beautiful traffic from reddit okay guys thanks for um, being patient with the release of version two uh thanks a lot for listening to me waffle on for the last few minutes i'm really looking forward to you getting your hands on the bot and getting that great fantastic reddit traffic i will see you in the next video peace